Good afternoon, folks. Big Bo here with another great Class A diesel motorhome value from Parkway RV Center. Folks, I'm about to show you probably one of the highest quality and nicest motorhomes you've seen in this limited price range. Uh, today, we're going to look at a 2002 National Trade Winds. This is the Model 390 LTC. Uh, this is a little over 39 feet, we'll call it 40 feet long, uh, double slide outs, good looking rig folks, it's got 81,000 miles, uh, national of course, one of the premier manufacturers of RVs, in other words, they don't make a cheap motorhome. Uh, this particular one in 2002 was right at 200 grand new. Folks, I've got it today in beautiful condition with good mileage checked out ready to go 39.9 and um, you know most mo most diesel motorhomes you see in this price range are the medium or the lower range ones as far as the quality ones you hardly ever see a premium one like this for this price but this is a, a nice looking rig folks it's built on the upgrade spartan mountain chassis it's got the 330 horsepower uh, c7 Caterpillar turbo diesel, which is at, in 2002 had a class leading 860 pound feet of torque. So you can tow, uh, you can tow about any vehicle you want to tow behind it. Let me explain to you a little bit about National RV, folks. At the time this unit was built, they were the fourth largest RV manufacturer in the world. They have it, what they call a DuraFrame, which is exclusively for national products and only in the higher end national products. The DuraFrame is one of the industry's very, very few all steel frames. And I can count on one hand the number of manufacturers that use an all steel frame. Uh, one of them being, of course, one of the most famous ones is Born Free known as the world's safest motorhome. And just like Born Free, this is a six-sided steel frame. Uh, other manufacturers, they'll use steel in critical areas and then they'll use aluminum in the rest. Steel is 40% stronger than aluminum, folks. So this is a lot better built and you get the benefit of a lot more rigid chassis. So that means you've got less sway when you're going down the road, especially when like a big truck passes you or or you get into a mountain and there's some crosswinds, you're going to sway a lot less with a more rigid chassis or a more rigid frame like this DuraFrame. The National is one of the, and I'm talking about only three or four brands even offer an all steel, uh, all steel frame, and National is one of them. Of course, that's why in 2002 this was about 30, 40 grand more than a comfortable bounder or a discovery or a journey. I mean, this was a lot more money, but you got a lot more motorhome. And uh, it's got a low maintenance fiberglass roof. It's got full air suspension, got an Allison six speed 3000 transmission. And um, you can see from the outside folks, there's, I see no delamination whatsoever. It's got a door awning, a window awnings, patio awning, of course, slide out toppers, 50 amp service, and it's got, a, it's got the upgrade 7500 diesel on and generator, which I have running right now. Or excuse me, folks, I did have running. I cut it off because we were plugged into power. But it's guaranteed to work, so you got no worries there. Um, it's a nice rig, folks. Trade winds, it's the LTC, the LE. Um, DuraFrame, glass looks good. I don't see any cracks or rock dings or anything that's any cause of concern. This raised rail chassis gives you a full pass through storage without having an incredibly tall roof height. Let me show you some of the features here. And I'm going to set my camera down for just one second because I have to have both hands to open this. So I hope I'm not making you too dizzy. Um, you got outside entertainment center with CD stereo, TV, 
remote control great for tailgates and plus you're right underneath your awning too so definitely a, a nice feature these are pass-through storage uh, just like the Fleetwoods they have a fully enclosed heated basement so uh, you don't have to worry about your pipes freezing and believe me folks it is cold out here today uh, in fact I'll show you <laughs> 36 degrees. We're not used to that kind of weather in Georgia, folks. The tires were put on early this year. They've got a date code of 0517, so they were built the fifth week of 2017. So, uh, and obviously, you're not going to have to worry about tires for several years. And they're Bridgestones, too, so they're not just a cheap no-name brand. Uh, you've got a awning outside, awning over the door, power steps, and let's get in out of this cold, folks. I've got the furnaces on. Um, like I said, you're, you're going to have a hard time finding a nicer motorhome for, um, for this price, even here. Whew. Whew. I tell you, folks, it's 36 out there in the 60s in here and getting warmer so it's got a great furnace i've got both furnaces on it's got two ducted dsi furnaces great looking interior all leather furniture let's look here at the at the cab um you got swivel chairs that swivel for party seating and they're leather we sit down here of course you've got that spartan mountain chassis it's got 716 hours on that 7.5 kW Onan diesel generator. So just like a diesel motor, you can virtually never wear it out. You keep it serviced, you keep it maintained, you keep it repaired as needed. That generator and this motor in this thing is going to last you as long as you want to keep it. 81,231.5 miles. That's it, folks. For a 2002 model motorhome and a diesel, anybody that knows anything about diesels will tell you 81,000 miles on a 15-year-old diesel is not even the least bit cause for concern. I mean, that's actually considered low miles for this year RV. Allison six-speed push-button automatic, power gear, hydraulic leveling legs. It's got the air dump. Of course, there's your level, which that's cool. They actually build, uh, put a built-in level in so you can level it up very easily. The uh, backup camera works great. Got a CD stereo. Of course, you've got all your, you've got a built-in block heater. You've got an exhaust brake, which is a Jake brake for those of you who've driven trucks. Heated power mirrors. All the gauges work. I mean, got a, I know it's kind of obsolete. But you got a uh, you got a Cobra, a really nice Cobra CB radio. Got a TV up top. Got a CD changer. You know, it, it it's got power. Um, Sunshades on the front. Of course, you got a remote control as a JVC stereo. Um, now I like the fact that they pretty much kept everything in here original like the TVs. I hate it when people change out the TVs. And I know those CRT TVs are outdated. I know that, folks. But this thing was designed and that hole was built for a that style TV, for a square TV. Now, these new TVs are rectangular. No matter what you do, they never look as good as the original TVs. And, of course, I'm not a big TV person, folks. In my own personal motorhome, maybe six times I've had the TV on. The whole time I don't go I don't take my 38 foot motorhome out to watch TV um, I take it out to enjoy the great outdoors if if it's raining I sit outside under the awning or I'm barbecuing um, you know I, I do a lot of outdoor activities I don't sit and watch and I've seen people do this and uh, they'll stay the whole time in the campground in fact I was in the Florida Keys one time several years ago and this campground was a hundred and fifty dollars a night of course everything down there is extremely high guy pulls up in a five hundred thousand dollar rig beautiful bus and they never come outside they stay inside and watch tv they get out in the evening to go get something to eat and they weren't 
disabled or anything like that. They were in their 50s. And perfect, they looked perfectly healthy. They stayed in there, I guess, and just watched TV the whole time they were in that beautiful campground at 150 bucks a night. And, and I'm sorry, folks. I'm enjoying it. I'm not sitting in my camper and watching TV. If I'm going to do that, I'll just stay at home. And if you're wanting to buy a $40,000 RV to watch TV, I can save you about 30, 39500 and just send you to Walmart to buy a TV. But... Like I said, you can put a, you can change that out if you want to. I wouldn't. I'd keep it the same. It works. If it's not broke, why fix it? Beautiful interior in this RV, folks. Really classy. Um, like I said, you've got leather captain's chairs. You've got a nice leather recliner. I'm not hiding nothing right there. You can see it looks great. A little fold-up table. I like the fact you can turn this recliner around. If I can do it here one-handed. And you've got a little desk area right here. You can put your laptop on, pay your bills there, have your drawer over there to keep your stuff. You know, if you're going to be, if you ever full time in an RV or live in one or are or, or going on a cross country trip, you need a place to still, you know, check your online banking, pay your bills. I know a lot of people do it from their phone, but it's still ha it's still nice to have a dedicated place to do your business at. You've got a sofa that folds out. This is actually a full queen-size bed. You've got day-night shades in all the windows. These are real solid wood, hardwood cabinets. These aren't the cheap particle board. Uh, table booth makes a bed. You've got real Corian countertops by DuPont. Got the gold steel over there in the corner. And these are a man-made marble. You've got ceramic tile floor. And thanks to that good riding mountain chassis, there's no cracks in them. Got a nice residential style sink. Got a stove top. Got a microwave confection oven. You can actually bake in this as well as microwave something. You've got a 12 cubic foot side by side refrigerator freezer. It's clean. Of course, I know it's 35 degrees outside, but uh, you can see I've got it turned up all the way. It's actually below freezing in here. And uh, actually what you want to do is put that on about three or four. Um, and as you put, if you fill this thing full of stuff, it won't get that cold either, folks. It's, you're looking at an empty fridge. But I'm just showing you this so that you know it works. It's got the built-in ice maker. Over here is your slide-out controls. Uh, it's got a Xantrix inverter, which should be a 2,000 watt. Thermostatic controlled fantastic fan. That's a nice feature. There's your thermostat. This controls both airs and both heats. It's got a zone setting. Uh, Dometic dual therm ducted roof airs. And up here, of course, you've got a high output 10-gallon uh, DSI water heater. You can ignite from right here with the push of a button. Ceramic tile floor. You've got a good-looking walk-through bathroom, folks. You've got solid sliding doors on each side for maximum privacy. Of course, I'm, again, folks, I'm trying to do this one-handed. I, I apologize, but that, that door does work because I had it out earlier. I try to kind of pre-check these things for y'all. Um... Just got to have both hands to do it. Got a toilet closet. Ceramic. Uh, it's got a china toilet, which is nice. A lot more durable than the plastic ones. And, of course, the nicer RVs come with that standard. Got a built-in hair dryer. Um, I love the um, etched glass on this shower, folks. You know, they don't. This is one of their flagship models that National built in 2002. They didn't spare any expenses. Uh, full fiberglass surround wall, even has a metal uh, metal hose and metal uh, shower spigot. Got a skylight. You can see there's no water stains around it. Got a little uh, blind that you can close that skylight off if you want to. This unit, of course, has got a washer and dryer combination, which Many of you may or may not use, but it's there. We'll make sure it works. You know, 
even put Corey in right here. Big, big hanging closet in here. Somebody's added some little slide out drawers, which is a good idea. Really nice size rear be uh, bedroom. Again, you got another solid sliding door. Got another TV back here. Got a little makeup get ready area. Queen Island bed. You've got his and her nightstands on each side. You've got a stereo back here. Plenty of lighting. Got a rear closet with sliding glass doors. And we're sitting on top of that big 330 horse Caterpillar diesel right now, folks, and it sounds great. And you can actually carry on a conversation in here without getting ground out by the motor. I know this is an older motorhome, folks, but for the price and the condition and the mileage, the amenities, that Dura frame itself is worth quite a bit more than your average 2002 model just because of that Dura frame. This unit uh, checked out, ready to go, is $39.9. Now, the way it works, for those of you who don't know, we have two different prices. Uh, option A and Option B is what we call them. Option A is the price that attracted you to this motorhome to begin with, and I call it the stress-free, worry-free free price. And that price is $39.9. Uh, that's haggle-free, that means firm, no negotiating. I have to tell people this every day. I, it's just like CarMax, folks. Our prices are the prices. We don't negotiate. If the price wasn't attractive to you, you wouldn't have watched this video to begin with. And you certainly wouldn't be calling wanting to buy it. And that price includes not only an 81,000 mile beautiful 2002 National Trade Winds LE LTC 390. It also includes an extensive major systems check by our certified RV techs that will be completed after purchase. The reason we don't check these units out before they're purchased is simple, folks. I have 170 used RVs out here. If I have to do our extensive checkout on every single one of them before we sell them, I'm going to have to hire 20 or 25 more RV techs. RV techs are not cheap. They're hard to find. They make more money at an RV dealership than just about anybody, and they know it. So to keep my overhead down, which allows me to sell this motorhome for the price that I'm selling it for instead of forty nine dollars or $59,000 like some other places are asking for it, um, I have to keep my overhead down. So the less employees I have to hire, the less RV techs I have to hire, the lower I can keep my prices. And, um, uh, you know, if I have to pre-check these units out, I have to go up several thousand dollars on my prices. It puts it the same as everybody else's 2002 390 trade wins, and that doesn't benefit anybody. So to keep my prices down, I don't check them out until we sell them. And, of course, we go through this major inspection checklist. And anything on that checklist that we find that doesn't function, we either repair it or replace it before you pick it up, no matter what it costs. And I've actually lost thousands and thousands of dollars on motorhomes before because... It cost us way more to get it to pass the inspection than we had profit in it. So we actually lost several thousand dollars. But we did it without going up on the price one dime. So $39.9, you've got no worries. This major checklist will be completed. Everything will be functioning no matter what. That's on that list. If you want a copy of that list so you can see what we check out for the price in repair if needed for the price that you pay, contact our sales department they will send you over that list and um, you won't believe how extensive it is i promise you this folks you can look at every single rv dealer's checklist for a 2002 model rv and nobody's will be as extensive as our as as ours is and other dealers charge you thousands of dollars extra to do that service we don't not only after this thing's been inspected do you get it checked out, ready to go, but you also get a personal walkthrough and demonstration after it's been through service. And um, how it works is you buy the RV, it goes in line to get checked out. Right now we're looking at two, two and a half weeks as of today to get this unit checked out, ready to go. And that's just an estimate, folks. You know, a week from now, a month from now, it might be different. Or tomorrow it might be different. But you always want to call and get the current lead time for a Class A diesel checkout as well as a copy of that list.
And um, once it's been gone through, cleaned up, the service manager will do his final walkthrough on it. If it makes his approval, he'll call you, set up an appointment for you to come pick it up, be here on time, and then on the date of the appointment, folks, please don't be early, please don't be late. Uh, we average a couple of walkthroughs a day, and sometimes some days more than that. So our, you know, we're kind of like a doctor's office. Sometimes these walkthroughs um, take a little longer than necessary, and it's best to be here on time. Uh, early is almost as bad as late sometimes, especially on like a Friday or a Saturday when we've got several pickups scheduled for the same day. Uh, so please be here on time, and once you arrive. RV Tech will go through the RV with you, answer any questions you have, show you how to operate everything, how to put the awnings out, how to do the jacks, all that. And that's included for that $39.9 price. Go inside, sign a couple of pieces of paper, jump in it, take it home with a smile on your face because you just got a nice motor home that you can start using right away. You don't have to worry about something major not working on it. Or we have option B. Option B is for those of you who still think haggling is, is a thing, is a thing which is not anymore, folks. Haggling went away with everybody started advertising their RVs on the internet, you know, because now everybody, I mean, you can literally get on Google and look at every single 2002 National Trade Winds 390 for sale today in the entire country. You can compare condition, you can compare mileage, prices, options. So obviously if ours wasn't the lowest or one of the lowest priced ones on the internet, you wouldn't be calling wanting to buy it because internet shoppers price compare. That's one thing they're notorious for is they price compare. And keep in mind the condition of it. Keep in mind that it's going to be checked out ready to go for under $40,000 out the door with no extra fees. However, for those of you who still, even after knowing this is one of the lowest priced ones on the internet, one of the nicest ones on the internet, you still want some kind of discount, we do offer, before you buy, we do offer what we call option B. Option B is we do discount the price and sell it to you the same way that we bought it, which was as is, as it says. No checkout, no walkthrough. Uh, no kind of guarantee. I mean, you basically buy it just like you see it in the video. Um, of course, you know, if you want to come look at it beforehand, you can, we'll plug it up, let you do your own inspection, and you can decide if you want option A or option B. The benefit of option B is you get a discount, first and foremost. Uh, and you can certainly come drive it. You can certainly come do your own inspection if you can see what works and what doesn't. But keep in mind, folks, at option B, if I'm not fixing a thing on it. So whatever you find wrong with it, that's just something you'll have to deal with if you buy it. Um, but option B includes, uh, doesn't just includes a drive out tag. It includes a starter kit and some instructional DVDs and no walkthrough because obviously if my guys haven't checked this unit out, they're not gonna be able to do a walkthrough on it or a demonstration. So if you want a price on option B, and you, another benefit of option B is you get to take it home the same day you pay for it, just contact our sales department at 706-965-7929. That number is answered 24 hours, seven days a week. Um, and they will give you a price on option B. And you can come look at this RV. We'll plug it into power. We'll run the generator. You can check it out yourself before you decide if you want to do option A or option B. You know, you may look at this thing and looks and say, I can't find anything majorly wrong with it. I'm just going to take the discount, take it home myself, and uh, just fix whatever may occur by myself. Or you may decide, you know what, I love this motor home, but I don't want to have to take it home and, and worry about stuff not working on it. You know, uh, I may just leave it, pay for it, leave it here, come back in a couple of weeks and have it checked out, ready to go, and get my walk through so I know how to operate everything. It's entirely up to you. You're getting a nice motor home either way you go for an unheard of price for this quality of motor home. $39.9, folks. Not $39.9 plus several thousand dollars in fees like the corporate dealers charge. $39.9 out the door, checked out, ready to go, plus sales tax if you're a Georgia resident. All out-of-state residents will pay your state sales tax rate when you tag and title this motor home at your local DMV office, you get a 45-day temporary tag to get you home. Give us a call, folks. 
Our phone number, again, is 706-965-7929. That number, and don't worry about calling too late, folks. If it's 3 o'clock in the morning, that number is answered. We have an after-hours answering service that we pay good money for, and they will answer basic questions. They can direct you like to our website or business hours, basic information, location, and all that. And they can take your contact information, and one of our non-commissioned salespeople will call or email you the next business day. And so you can call that office number anytime, day or night, any day of the week, it will be answered. Or if you want to talk to an after-hour salesperson, now keep in mind we're on Eastern Time, and after 9 o'clock Eastern Time, he won't answer his phone. And he will answer it all day on Sunday since the office is closed. You can call 423 605-6747. Uh, you know, you can email sales at parkwayrvcenter.com, but obviously, of course, common sense will tell you you're going to get a lot faster response from a phone call than an email. Um, you can go to our website, parkwayrvcenter.com. Financing is available with approved credit and minimum 10% down payment cash or trade. And that's it. And keep in mind, folks, on the down payment amount. That is with optimal credit. In other words, if you've got a lower score than normal for an RV loan, you may have to pay more money down to secure an RV loan. And just, just a quick friendly reminder, folks, um, if you do an online application, whatever you put for your income, you have to prove with tax returns, tax records, W-2, 1099. Uh, so keep that in mind. Those of you who do not show all your income, do not put anything on the credit application that you cannot prove upon request because you can have an absolutely perfect